Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, identify or calculate or find the distance uh, shared between two polygons. Uh, here I have added uh, polygons of my country. And let me label them by uh, their region name. And select level, single levels, and the level value will be by uh, region. Bold. Okay. okay. So uh, here I have uh, these regions and I need to find or identify the distance shared between these two uh, regions I'm here and Tigray so we can do this by using this uh, QGI software so first uh, we need to delineate or split these two polygons from the original layer so select these two and uh, search for split from this processing toolbox split and under this vector general behind the split vector uh, layer and our input will be the it origin layer and the tick this one which is select select features only we need to sell uh, split only the two selected polygons and they give your output value and the parameters uh, i'm going to save this output one yeah and the run your so uh, the split process is completed go to your directory and add the split polygon here we have two uh, package files so i'll take this one so here we have uh, the two polygons so we need to find the distance covered between these two polygons or these two regions so next uh, we will do uh, converting from uh, polygon to uh, line feature we need to convert these polygons to line feature so to do so we have two ways the first one is by using boundary tool boundary tool under this vector uh, geometry tab and also we can use a direct tool which is a polygon to line tool so for this tutorial i'm going to use this uh, boundary so uh, we have two features or we two layers so we can do this uh, process at once by using uh, by uh, by using uh, batch analysis which called as execute as batch process for the two polygons so select this uh, execute as <coughs> batch process and uh, our input will be these two uh, polygons the first one is this one and the second uh, press this uh, plus icon and add the second polygon here is the first one and the second polygon is this one and then you can specify your output location Then uh, for the autofill setting, select uh, this uh, fill with parameter value and uh, your uh, parameter to use will be the input or original layer <coughs> and the press OK. So here we have added the two polygons to be converted to line and we have specified the output location for the two. Then uh, run your process. Yeah, it is uh, completed. And uh, 
this one as well. These are uh, the converted uh, polygons to line. Then next we will find the intersection of these two features or these two uh, line layers. So search again for intersection. Intersection. And we are going to find the intersection of these two lines, which is uh, line region Lamhara, the first one, and uh, for the second one, uh, line region Tigray. So this will create uh, the intersection of these two uh, features. So run your process. Here new uh, layer is created, which shows the intersection of these two uh, polygons. So we get uh, one uh, line feature. From this, we can calculate the language of this shape or this line. First, we need to determine or we need to have our input feature or input layer in uh, project coordinate system. Mine is in, uh, you need to check the CRS of your input feature, which is uh, already it in, it is in uh, project coordinate system with UTM zone 37. So we can calculate the distance without converting it or changing the uh, projection of your uh, layer. So this is also in uh, projected coordinate system. So we can uh, continue calculating or uh, finding the distance of this layer. It is already in WGS or UTM, I did done UTM zone 37, which is projected coordinate system. So uh, open the attribute table of your final uh, intersection line. Under this, we have one uh, column, so we need to add additional column here. So uh, we need to use a field calculator to calculate the distance of uh, this line. Uh, so uh, we need to create, or we are going to create one column to be added in the attribute of our layer. So it gives the name as lengths. Okay, keeping this in default. So under this row number, select the geometry and then mm, select the lingers. This one lingers. So it is going to calculate the lingers of this uh, feature in meter actually. Yeah, so here as you can see, new. Uh, attribute or new column is added which shows the language of this uh, intersection line which is in a meter we can convert this to the kilometer by dividing for thousand so through this way we can find the intersection of points or polygons and we can find the the distance covered between these two uh, or shared between these two polygons so this is all about my today's tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, we will see you in the next tutorial. <coughs> Thank you for uh, your time.